Good evening, Life Groups. Tonight we're going to be speaking about a connected heart or a community that's connected. And it's this idea, you know, which is so opposed to our Western thinking that we're not just individuals, that we need each other in order to be strong and really be everything God made us to be. A community is so much of the heart of God because God is a community, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And God made us to be in community, the church. And when we're in community and the community is functioning well, uh, we're at our strongest and we're at our best. One of the richest pictures of community we have in the Bible is uh, the early church of Acts. So the first eight or so chapters of the book of Acts uh, gives us a picture of the church of Jerusalem, uh, the first church that ever existed. And uh, there's a few pictures, snapshots into the life of this community that we can learn so much from. So in Acts chapter 2, verse 42 to 47, it says this, All the believers devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship and to sharing in meals, including the Lord's Supper, and to prayer. A deep sense of awe came over all of them, and the apostles performed many miraculous signs, signs and wonders. And all the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. They sold their property and possessions and shared the money with those in need. They worshipped together at the temple each day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy and generosity, all the while praising God and enjoying the goodwill, the goodwill of all the people. And each day the Lord added to their fellowship those who were being saved. Um, a couple chapters later, Peter and John, two of the most important leaders of this church, uh, get themselves into serious troubles with the religious authorities. They end up, uh, God uses them to uh, heal a, a lame man, and the whole city knows this lame man. All of a sudden, they see him uh, running around and walking, and they, they come rushing together, and it gives us an amazing opportunity for Peter and John to preach the gospel. Now, the religious authorities, you know, they've just had a, a role in sending Jesus to his death. And so they don't want guys preaching about Jesus. And so they arrest them, bring them in, and they threaten them. You never preach about Jesus ever again. And this is what happens uh, as Peter and John uh, are released from really this detention. It says this, As soon as they were freed, Peter and John returned to the other believers and told them what the leading priests and elders had said. When they heard the report, all the believers lifted their voices together in prayer to God. What happened here? I mean, this community just gets threatened. They get threatened. Hey, we're gonna, you could get beaten. You can get imprisoned. Uh, Jesus warned them that, that persecution was going to come. And so they're at this brink where they're about to cross over into this place where they start getting persecuted for their faith. Um, and this is what they do. They don't give themselves a pep talk. They don't look at each other and say, man, we've got to be there for each other. and We're going to encourage each other. and We're going to do all this stuff. That's important. Encouragement's from God. But fundamentally, this is what they do is... They look to God as a community. Their first thing to do is to get together and pray. In other words, they are God-focused, not each other-focused. They're not looking at the guy across the room and saying, man, you need to encourage me and support me and I'm going to support you. They're looking at God and saying, man, God, we need you. You're the center of this community. We exist for you. You sustain us. You brought us together. Uh, and so they look to God. And so what I'm asking you to do tonight is to look at two pictures uh, of the Church of Acts. Uh, Acts chapter 2, 42 to 47, and Acts chapter 4, 32 to 37. Read these together and do a bit of a Bible study. Try and understand what was at the heart of this community. What gave them such a great sense of connectedness? And how did that connectedness give them strength? And so as you read through these verses together, I uh, really encourage you to um, ask some questions of the text saying, man, first and foremost, we want to understand this church in Acts. What did they look like? And then what does that look like for us? Uh, have fun studying the Bible together, guys. It's such a great way um, to get connected as a community is to study God's Word together because when you do that, the Spirit knits you together and speaks through other people in the group and yourself uh, to each other. So have fun.